to prevent the scratching or damaging of the heads, what I recommend you do is take a piece of blue tape. This is painter's blue tape. And just put it over the head like so. And then put your screw in to the head. and screw it in. You will see here the head has no damage to the, th to the um, Phillips drive so you won't see any marks or imperfections to the metal. These heads are stripped out. I'm going to show you how to remove them. So let's get started. I'm going to put it here in my vise. Okay, so I have a rubber band. I'm going to put the rubber band onto the head of the uh, Phillips. And we're going to go slow and steady outward, okay? You have to put nice pressure on, the, on this. And we're gonna back it out. So basically what the rubber band does is fill the void between the Phillips head and the there you go. And this one is not coming out. So the only way to get this one out because it's too far gone, is with an, uh, a, an extractor. There you go. That's what it looks like. And obviously the threads go to the left, not the right. So I'm gonna see if I drill deep enough that I can grab it. There we go. That took a lot of pressure to apply to the screw for that to extract out a sheet metal screw out of wood.